Good afternoon and welcome to this Wednesday's edition of CCV. I'm Kennedy. And I'm Nikki. Tonight is the NHS induction ceremony. It starts at 6.30 in the auditorium. Friday night, both our varsity soccer games play against Elkins. Girls play at Clemens and boys play at Hall Stadium starting at 7.30. AP U.S. History had a Gatsby Gala this past week. Let's go to Jacob and Paul to find Hi, out. Hi Rangers. My name is Abdul. Are you interested in finding out about what's going on in Gatsby's Gala? Let's call the people to find out more about what's going on, shall we? So the Gatsby Gala is a two-year now tradition between the AP U.S. History classes and the AP English 3 classes. And it's something that we started last year to really make the 1920s more interesting because uh, it's a time period that a lot of our students have some kind of knowledge of, whether that's through pop culture, movies, and every junior reads The Great Gatsby as well. So it's a nice tie-in with what you're doing in English class. Uh, our hope is that by participating in the Gatsby Gala, it's a good way to connect with history, it makes history a little more fun, a little more accessible, and also maybe encourages students who are sophomores and freshmen to think about taking AP English and taking AP US and getting excited about taking those classes. Uh, so basically the way that the Gatsby Gala works is this is actually the second part of a major project we do where the students are actually the ones who teach the class when we get to the 1920s. They have different special topics they cover from evolving gender roles, science and religion, immigration, African Americans in the Harlem Renaissance, prohibition, and your classmates teach and research. And then they build a website is the way we've been doing it lately. And then day two is what you see here, which is the Gatsby Gala, where you take the information you did a research project about and turn it into an interactive game that everyone who is part of AP English and AP US we come and participate, you dress up in 1920s outfits that relate to your topic, and it's just a really cool, fun way to kind of see the different ways people interpret their research and just the different kind of fun things you can do with history. And all of the decorations that are here were produced by our students as extra credit. Uh, we have a decorations committee that we put together that makes all the plans, so it's a really cool, kind of student-driven, fun activity, and we really like doing it, and we hope that we'll get to continue to do it uh, for many years in the future. Um, I think it's really nice to be able to come to school and dress up and to have activities that like are fun but you can also learn about and it's really interesting like seeing how much work everyone put into their projects and learning about it and doing all the fun games with it. Great Rangers, that was some great stuff wasn't it? That was phenomenal. Now, it looks like Rangers had a really great time at this event so I'm going to sign off now. But CTV, Mr. Jacob, back to you. Thanks, guys. That looked like a lot of fun. There will be pizza served tomorrow during lunch. It's $2 for a slice and $14 for a box. Tomorrow there is an interactive flat screen panel demonstration and training session. It's all day during the library, so stop by and try it. First Colony Basketball Youth Association have been having some fun basketball games. Let's go to Saw Hill, Rogov, and Lee for more. Thank you, guys. Let's take an in-depth view of the FCYBA season this year. So, um, SUIBA games are something I definitely look forward to during the day and during throughout the week, honestly. Um, playing with my friends, just getting out in there, having fun, just being with the boys, being coached up by some good coaches is all just a part of uh, what, the, what the program's all about, so I'm really enjoying that. both just played uh, our last game. We were both in the semifinals. Unfortunately, we lost, we lost but hard fought games. It was a lot of fun. SUIBA is a great program and the way they set everything up is great and I love how everything goes. How did you think about it? Oh, it was a good season. It's a good experience if anyone wants to go do it. It's freshman through senior year and if you just want to play basketball and have fun, it's a great league. It's
Hope y'all enjoyed that clip. Back to y'all. Thank you guys. In honor of it being FFA week, FFA had their annual teacher appreciation breakfast this morning. Today's National Love Your Pet Day. So make sure to show your pets how much you love them. One of Antarctica's biggest glacier has a hole under it. Trump administration moves to pull funding for California bullet train. Also, today's Rihanna and Kurt Cobain's birthday. But we have, nope, no. But <laughs> But tomorrow we have a very special birthday. That's right. Tomorrow is my birthday. If you see Nikki in the hallway, make sure to wish her a happy birthday. That like 118. Big 118. 118. Oh. 118. Oh. Please don't turn 118. No. 18. The big 18. I'm turning 18. Make sure you wish me a happy birthday. But that's all for today's edition of CTV. I'm Kennedy. But I'm Nikki. Thanks for watching CTV. Stay tuned for Hog Camp!